it is the end of the month, April 2020, 2021. See if I can make my mouth work right. And that means it's subscription time. I have my box heroes. I have my Comic Tom 101 mail call, mystery mail call, and uh, I got something else that you guys may or may not get to see. <laughs> so, we're going to open up the box heroes first. Dad's got it in the background coming this way. Let's see how I did April 2021. I see a card, I see another card. And I see bubble wrap. Ooh, and stickers. Cool stickers. Uh -huh. We got uh, Darth Vader and Spider Man. Some ugly X Men card. Can't even tell. It's Iceman uh, getting shot at by Cyclops. I don't know. Must have pissed him off or something. So, I hope you guys have had a good month. It is spring. Uh, half of the country, as of right now, is at least one dose in for vaccination. Comic-Cons are opening up, which is awesome. I saw the pressable defects and very dairy, three men in a basement. They're all up in the Northeast. They went to New Hampshire. We're in the Northwest. We ain't got shit yet. But we're getting there. First up, subscriber bonus book. We have... High Republic, number four. Very pretty. I never uh, I never read the Star Wars comics. Um, I don't know. I just can't get into it. I love the movies. I love the visual stimulation. Not the comics. We had a Bloodlines annual. Batman, probably Detective Comics. Or, yep, Detective Comics. Uh, Earth Plague. Next up, we got a new Teen Titans. Uh, Dad says number six. There's the number right there. Kind of cool. Looks like a must have been a campaign year. We love the Titans. Go Titans! Here we got a very nice Vision cover. Homage to the old Avengers uh, cover. And I'm going to have Dad show you this real quick. And then we're going to take a break for some technical uh, issues. Be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So we're still in the box heroes. Now we have a train paperback. DC Comics, The Golden Age. It's a beautiful uh, book. Yeah, it is pretty. I, I've had these before. They're really not uh, like super valuable or anything, but... They're nice, and anybody that likes to read or collect, like, just kind of classical covers, that's a good one. Uh, a Mighty Thor issue here that is a trip to look at. I think it's got the Abomination on it, maybe. Uh, that is nuts, or maybe that's Maestro. One ugly Hulk character right there. Pretty cool stuff. Uh... There's that one. And you're out of focus. Well, there we go. Slowly. Oh. Hey, I'm back. All right. We got uh, J. Scott Campbell or Jim Lee. I don't know. It's, it's an image. It's a swimsuit issue. I got distracted by the cartoon women. Uh, I'm sure you'll forgive me. Or not. I don't really care. I mean, I care a little. Please forgive me. Now we have X-Men. This is a cool Iceman cover. It looks like somebody set their glass of water right on the damn cover here <laughs> of this uh, bag. Um, yeah. X-Men 190. And I don't know if you'll be able to see what we were looking at. There. Ooh, oh. They're right up on their heads, there is definitely a cup ring. That's kind of hysterical. The book didn't look like it's any worse for wear. And then the last one in this box, Heroes box, which wasn't very good this month, uh, 
for for me as far as like major value. I didn't lose money. Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter, number one. Predator is ugly, and I think maybe Marvel thought he was too ugly to release as early as they wanted. Because I just saw the recent news that Marvel is delaying all Predator titles until at least November. So there was Box Heroes. I have a sneaking suspicion that my mystery mail call box from Comic Tom is going to blow that one out of the water. For comparison sakes, let's get into it. Oh boy, we're tearing in. I love the mailer. Black bag of goodness. It's so secret. Here we go. Oh, hey, something fell out of the bag. Oh, she's naked. Hey. No, maybe not. What do we got? Oh, we have a very cool, very cool Harley Quinn uh, newsprint. It's got all the info on the back of the stuff that we might get. Uh, let's see what stuff we got. I like that. that that's a cool little newsprint. All right. Don't let us down, Comic Tom. Don't let us down. Nice. This comic, I have not read yet. I've got them all back in my reading pile. I will be sending this one off to get graded. The Comic Tom Ha Ha number three exclusive. That is just going to look really cool. Framed up. Love that cover. Great job on the exclusive, sir. As always. Oh, we got the Invincible art print right here. John Boy Myers. Very nice. I will put that in a comic sleeve. I might not be invincible, but damn it, I play one on TV. Ah. Next up, Cult of Dracula. Uh, we got the black and white. Um, this one was super limited. On the back of the newsprint, it will tell me exactly how many. I'll take a peek at that here real quick and let you guys know as well. Yeah. So this black and white uh, Cult of Dracula, there were 400 of these. It is the second most, and I'm out of focus again. It is the second most exclusive of the exclusive. There was a sketch variant with 200 made, but there were 400 of that one made. Let's see. Did it work? Oh, no. We'll try it with the next issue. We'll see what's next. Next up. Oh, we got a new mutant. Number 30. Good old reading Marvel stuff, man. Uh, I, I got a chance to uh, work with Comic Tom a little bit on a collection. So it's possible I just got that one back from him. Which he said would happen eventually. Hey, another art print. This is cool. This is the Deer Girl uh, number to a thousand. There were six different ones of these uh, that came out. Six different characters. So I will put that in a bag and a board. Put it with the art prints that I got from him. We got two issues left. We got Magnus Robot Fighter. Ha <laughs> ha. So the box zero, comic on mystery mail call. We got a connection here. Magnus Robot Fighter. And then the last issue. Uh, again, nice little reader. Um, can't be mad whenever you get an Incredible Hulk. So we got Incredible Hulk 302. So there are the books. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And uh, go out there. Find some good books for yourself. Postscript. I decided to show you guys the other thing I bought too. Just for fun. Dad's opening it up right now. It's in a top loader, so I must have had really good taste. <laughs> it is. Oh, I remember what it is. I'm going to get this one graded too. My favorite series on the market right now. Um... 
by far to read and the covers are fire department of truth and that is an issue seven variant um so that one is the coolest thing that we opened on this video <laughs> all right bye